um ano. Is that you want to eat on <laughs> Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. We got it covered in dirt again. Just because we can, even though we just saw a great race on the concrete in NASCAR. Welcome to the Rev Sim Shop Dirt Street Stock Series Tour. There we go. <laughs> We're going to do 30 laps in feature number one, followed by 40 laps in feature number two. Should have all of our cars getting out on track now while we wait for them to grid. Blake Giglio randomly draws the pole. Blake had multiple double feature wins for us, so we'll see if he can repeat that feat here tonight. Scott Elson's going to be starting second in feature number one. Hayden Lowell, not out on track, was <laughs> start third. Hayden taking his time getting out on track. Let's see, Lafayette would start in the fourth spot. Damon Nagel roll off fifth. Sean Cliff Mullins in sixth, but he's not out on track. <laughs> Cody Ernest shows seventh. Jerry Brewer, points leader in eighth. Lucas Hoisma, Golden Boy, rolls off ninth. Cody Cleaver in the number two, roll off in tenth. Ian Montrose in the one. Looks like he's having some issues. Already has damage. <laughs> and then he really I don't know how he got damage already, but that's impressive. There is Damon giving Blake a shot in the rear bumper. Just for funsies. Looks like everybody but Cliff Mullins is actually out on track. Although it's showing Hayden in the pits, so he's going to start from the pit lane. I think Mullins may have... nope, it's still no Mullins. Cliff may have said the hell with dirt. So we have 11 cars officially in this race. Welcome on in everybody, hope you're having a delightful Tuesday. Whatever day you may be watching the replay over on the YouTube. We are live on Twitch tonight. Get this Saturday night fever underway, but on a Tuesday. <laughs> Here comes Blake Giglio with the jump. Field stacks up a little bit behind him. Scott Elston, Damon Nagel, and the 88 of Cody Ernest go three wide. Low line not having any speed for Ernest. He falls back a bit. Blake takes off into the lead. Ian Montrose in his pit box. Hayden Lowell started from the pits. The other nine cars all bunched up here. Elson's falling behind Nagel. Lafayette under attack from Ernest. That is the battle for fourth. Ernest going to use the inside line to try and wrestle that away. See Lucas Hoisma working on points leader Brewer. That's for the sixth spot. Hoisma gets up and into the double zero of Nathan Lafayette. Lafayette then pushes Brewer up to the wall. Then contact between Cleaver and Lafayette. All kinds of things going on. But you know whose number I really appreciate in this series? Nathan Lafayette with a double zero. It doesn't matter if you're on the infield or the in or the grandstands. That that double zero is written correctly. <laughs> Can really appreciate that. I think the same is true for the 88 Cody Ernest. Don't matter if you're in the stands or in the infield. That still says 88 on the roof. Ernest made his way up to third as he's gotten by Elston. Quite so also getting by the 35 of Elston. Giglio's lead 1.3 seconds. There is Blake in the 16. He's hoping it stays green with the lead he has. Try to keep <laughs> these fellas at bay. Damon Nagel, Cody Ernest, Lucas Weitzma. Second, third, and fourth on the screen. Weitzma trying to get to the inside of Ernest and does so. See if he's able to complete the pass down low. Lucas gonna make that low line work. Picks up the spot on Cody Ernest. Five laps complete. Now six as we trip the line. Lucas has vanished. <laughs> there he is again. Hopefully we're not having storm issues like Trenton had the other night. Cliff Mullins has gotten into the race. He's showing three laps down, but out there. Getting some practice in for feature number two, I guess. So he is right there with Blake Giglio. These two have a interesting past, especially this season. <laughs> we'll see if they play nicely or if Cliff makes it hell for Blake to get by him. 
So far they're behaving. So maybe bygones will be let be bygones. Lucas Whiteson, meanwhile, working on Damon Nagel. Trying to take that second spot away. Let's get driver chat back in here. What? Caught the very end of whatever Blake was saying there. We watch Lucas Hoist with a fight to the inside of Damon Nagel. He's able to get by Ernest on the inside. But now Ernest is starting to make a comeback on that higher line. Hoist was not careful. He might go from battling for second to losing third. Also have Scott Elston battling the two of Cleaver. Battles going on everywhere. Everywhere except the lead. Blake's kind of taken off for 1.8 now out in front. Third of the way through. Feature number one. Place was going to slide in right between the two red cars. Ernest now going to try his luck on the bottom. The high line seems to be coming in really well. Just made up some ground early on the low line, but I don't think it's there right now. To wear out that high line a little bit. They're all catching Cliff Mullins, the lap car. Hayden went one lap down. Ash Branner struggling right now. Looks like he's been into the wall. That car not looking so hot. As he limps around the inside, that's going to knock him off the lead lap. Giglio out front. We have this trio, Nagel, Hoisma, and Ernest. They've kind of settled in single file. We have Cleaver. He's gotten past Elston. Elston has Jory Brewer and Nathan Lafayette hot on his tail. All that is for position. And the last three cars on the lead lap. Then you have Hayden one lap down. Ashenbrenner in the pit lane, along with Montrose and Cliff Mullins. So those four will probably be your top four since we invert the field after race number one. Blake Giglio basically handed this one by being given the pole for feature one, but he's going to have to come from the back of a 12-car field on feature two. We'll see if he can become another double feature winner. I mean, he's already done it several times, but see if he can pick up another one. Cat just sneezed behind me and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Things that happen on a live broadcast. Just past halfway, Giglio leads. Check in on this trio. They've made it past the lap machine of Mullins. Ernest trying to get to the outside of Lucas Hoisman. Just going to pull back up in front of him, see if Ernest goes to the bottom or waits for the top. He's going to try again at the top, so I think Ernest believes the top is his way around. Now he's going to go to the bottom, give it a shot. Nothing doing that time by. I think one of my favorite races here in SRL is in the truck series. <laughs> they ran here, they put on a good show. I think we may have a little too many trucks now, but it was a good show when we ran them here. Hoitzman now starting to claw back in for this battle for second. Gets to the inside of David Nagel. Just ever so slightly inching ahead, inching ahead, inching ahead. He can consistently make up a few inches a lap. Maybe he'll get there. Ernest trying to put his car into the mix. We can get to the outside of Hoitzma. Hoitzma can no longer escape back to the high line. Nagel gets into the wall a little bit. Didn't slow him down much. Ernest trying to go even higher than the 86 car. Then shoot the middle here. It's going to get tight. Lucas shuts the door. Ernest has to get back in line behind Nagel as Hoitzma works the inside lane. All this well behind Blake Giglio out in the front. 
three seconds now as Hoistman gets the nose out in front. Ernest is going to go way to the bottom. Hoistman is going to go middle. They're going to make contact coming off the corner. And we are three wide for this second position. What a battle that is. Watching the 86 of Nagel hang on to second spot. Hoitzva in third, Ernest in fourth. Lucas looking for any way past this 86 of Nagel. Just not able to find a line. Now Nagel goes to the bottom. He may regret that. Highline seem to have the speed coming off the corners. Ernest is going to go to the inside now. He's giving it a shot for third. Laps winding down. Blake with a three-second lead. We're not watching him much because this battle for second, third, and fourth is great. They settle down for the moment. Let's quickly run back. Cody Cleaver in fifth. Elston battling Brewer. That's the battle for sixth. It's the only other real battle we've got. Lafayette is 8th, Hayden Lowell 9th, Cliff Mullins 10th, Asher Banner and Montrose on pit lane 11th and 12th. Asher Banner says it was fun while it lasted. We'll see if he gets back out there for feature number 2. Blake Iglio all by himself. Putting a whipping on the field. Report from the 31 team is no for the second race. We get white flag out for Blake Giglio. One lap to go for the 16. We go back to this battle. Hoist for the down low. Ernest up high. And then Nagel right in front of both of them. Blake Giglio is going to take the win. We're going to hang out and watch this battle for second, third, and fourth. How's it going to come down to the line? Nagel. And I think Cody Ernest may have... Nope. Three. It, it shows them tied. <laughs> I'm going to look at this. Okay. It's a 6-7 to a 7. So, yeah. It's going to be... Wait a minute. My goodness. That was a close finish. Now we get a five-minute uh, to try and talk to our drivers there. See if we can find Mr. Blake Giglio in the chat. There's Blake. Top three for that feature. Go get your interviews. Blake, DG, you got a copy? Yeah, how's it going? It's going good. Well, you kind of put a whipping on the field. You were given the first position there, so you just kind of took advantage of what you were given and rolled to the uh, win there in feature number one. Now you got to come from the back. How are you going to do this for feature number two? Yeah, the field's really even. I was looking at lap times there. Um, I think it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to make no mistakes and try my best to weave through traffic because... I think Hayden's going to be starting up front, and he was running this pretty lap at the end there, so it's going to be pretty tough, but should be fun. Montrose is starting up front. Hayden's up there, though. He is up there. He started a lap oh. down, so he is up there. <laughs> yeah, so it should be a good race, I think. Um, I think tracks can get better and better, I think. So. Yeah, how was it there? It looked like the inside line was able to make some passes early on, but then like the top line really came in. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. I was running the bottom the start there and i tried running it throughout the run definitely a little bit slower but i think that's for the pass you're gonna be made here in this feature it's hand four good luck in feature number two thank you go grab second place i think he's up in the waiting room dateman dg you got a copy yes sir well sir you had a nice first uh, feature there brought it home p2 you had good track position starting out and maintained it pretty well held off all those advances for several laps there it looked like it was a lot of fun to battle with lucas and uh ernest there how was it it was a blast. I was just trying to make my car as wide as possible, trying to hold them off. <laughs> well, you did good. You brought a hope beat, too. <laughs> yeah, if they were going to pass me, they were going to have to earn it. Then four, you got the Friends Family Sponsor shoutouts for your P2? Uh, I got the Trevor Project, Delta Prime Racing, Rev Sim Shop for uh, sponsoring this series, uh, you for broadcasting Outfront Minnesota, and again, Scott for letting me do all this. And four, we appreciate you, Damon. Good luck in feature two. Thank you. And then we have, I'm pretty sure it was Lucas. <laughs> I have to ask him. Did you officially get P3 there? Hello? Hello. Did you officially get P3 there? Uh, yes. It kept bouncing back and forth and then it all disappeared on my screen. I'm like, well, I guess Lucas got it. 
<laughs> Good times. Well, congrats on that P3. That was a very close finish for, uh, you know, it'd be more exciting if it was for the win, but, you know, Blake had to make things boring. Yeah, we had really good battle there for a second on back, but yeah, like I said, I mean, Blake, that clean air, I think, definitely helped him. I think all of us battling back there definitely let him drive away, but no, it was it was a ton of fun. It was pretty tough to pass, though. Um, I don't know why. It seems like there's multiple lanes you can run, but it's just you can't get a pass done. And, it looks I like mean, they're Cody just... had that. He couldn't, he couldn't get by me. I couldn't get by Damon. I think maybe the draft had something to do with it. I have no idea. Imagine drafting on dirt. Isn't that crazy? I, it is, but I'm pretty sure that's why we were so packed up together. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. Well, good luck to you in feature number two. And uh, it looked like you made a few passes early on the low side, and then it just kind of went went away after maybe about 10 laps. Yeah, that bottom side, it started out good, and then once everybody kind of ran through it, it just went away. And four, we see if we can't run even higher than everyone else and make a extra high third lane or something. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Lucas Weissman in the 97, picking up P3 in feature one. We got about a minute of warm up here, then we jump into feature number two, where we invert the field, add 10 laps, and let it roll again. Both races count in the point standing, so double feature races here in the Rev Sim Shop Dirt Street Stock Tour. So your top three from this race Blake Giglio, Damon Nagel, and Lucas Hoitzmo, they'll be starting 10th, 11th, and 12th. Although they get to move up one because the 31 team reported that car is broke and will not be racing in feature two. There is feature one winner, Blake Giglio. Montrose got in late. He is in now for feature two. He should be one of the top four cars. I know four cars fell off the lead lap. One of them, Asherbrander, the 31, won't be out there. That is going to do it for warm up. We're heading into feature number two. We line them up in reverse order from feature one. Gives the pole to Ian Montrose. Hayden Lowell is going to get to move up to the front row as well. Ashbrenner won't be filling that front row spot. That'll be something fun to keep an eye on. And there is your pole sitter for feature number two. Let's go ahead and get our starting lineup music kicked off. Presented by our friends in Labor 12. And here we go, Ian Montrose, your pole sitter. Looks like Will Asherbrenner in the 31 would have started outside pole, but not there. Not sure if Cliff's going to hop in or not, but he hasn't shown up on track yet. There he is, Cliff Mullins. Will roll off, I guess, technically second. Hayden Lowell will roll off third. Nathan Lafayette in fourth. Scott Elston fifth. Joey Brewer roll off sixth. Cody Cleaver will start seventh. Cody Ernest in eighth. Lucas Hoisman ninth. Damon Nagel tenth. And Blake Giglio will round out the 11 car field. Blake has. 10 cars to get by to see if he can go as a double feature winner here tonight. Get everyone moving up on that outside line. Got that roll off the pit lane. Is Pontiac a little sluggish? All right, we're set for feature number two, 40 laps. We rev Sim Shop Dirt Street Sock Tour. Montrose and Lowell will be your front row. Mullins and Elston row two. Lafayette and Brewer row three. Oh, yes, sir, Wes. How are you? How are you, my friend? 
Bristol Dirt. The Dirty Bristol. I got the cars from Autumn overnight, so I'm excited for the kids' race stuff. Here we go. Waiting for the green. There it is. Ian Montrose, Hayden Lowell lead the field off to turn number one. Yeah, Cliff Mullins. I'm going to check in on guys like Blake Galeo, Lucas Weiss. I'm going to watch him try to come up through the field as quickly as possible. They've already gotten past Damon Nagel. Hell yeah, Wes. Keep it up. I have the cleaver double zero of Lafayette and a 37 of Mullins. Three wide. A little bit further back there. Three wide back there, too. Mad scramble to try and get to the front before Hayden Lull disappears, I suppose. Ian Montrose out front. Hayden right behind. Cody Cleaver. Three wide for third. Cleaver lost the back end of that two car a little bit. He's going to fall into danger again. He had broken away briefly. Guy's trying to find room to run. Hoyt's not all the way up to the wall. <laughs> I told him to see if he could make that third really high line come in. He is going for it. He went all the way to the wall. Uh-oh, Cliff disappeared. Now he's back. Blake and Lucas make light contact. Out front is still Montrose by three-tenths over Hayden Lull. So we watch this mad scramble. Fast guys trying to make their way through. Oh my gosh, Cody Ernest got it to the right rear of Giglio. Blake saw him doing the shimmy all the way down the straightaway trying to rebound from that. Cody Cleaver once again breaks away for third. Giglio, Hoitzma, and Ernest all hung up behind Mullins and the double zero. That might be a little too much contact for Nathan. Let's see if he is able to. He gets into the pit lane. Saves the race car, but not going to the pit lane, unfortunately, for Lafayette. Now this trio has made it past Mullins. They're all battling hard with one another and making progress while they do it. Really freaking impressive. So Hoitzma's up to fourth. Giglio's up to fifth. Nagel's making his way up back up there. He was all the way out of the back of the pack at one point, but he is going up to six. Is, wow, big crossover from Hoitzman. Nagel may have just barely touched his back bumper. These two low drag teammates battle hard in the 97 and 16. Mullins are right there in the 37. Then you see the four of Joey Brewer. Our points leader coming into tonight in the Rev Sim Shop Dirt Street Sock Tour. First seven laps complete. We have 40 in feature number two. We watch Nagel and 97 of Hoitsman battle. Blake's broken free. Checking on the guys up front. There's Montrose and Hayden. They're still in close proximity, but Montrose leads the way. Cleaver in third. Giglio now fourth. Hoitsman has grabbed control of fifth. And now Mullins battling the 86 of Nagel. And the four of Brewer right there with him. Behind that, you have Elston and Ernest. I thought Ernest would have a better showing so far tonight, but I guess passing really at a premium. I know he had that issue with Lafayette. Lafayette unfortunately got sent down the pit lane. Still in the lead lap. He'd like a caution to get back into the racing. But everyone outside of Lafayette, the other 10 cars are all within one second of one another. Now Hayden slides to the inside of Montrose, taps his left rear. No harm, no foul in dirt racing. Carry on. I wonder if that's Montrose putting a block on it. <laughs> it's hard to tell in dirt. I don't know if his normal line is there or if he was trying to close the door on Hayden getting to his inside. Let's go on board the Napa car. Let's see how this looks from surface level. Now oh, looking backwards at the Cleaver and the 16 battle for third. Ahead. There's the driver. All my stuff's mislabeled here. There's the outside car. Probably the one we want is live. <laughs> Montrose way down there. Just about under the banking of the track, down on the flat almost on the apron. Hayden running right on that cushion. Montrose stretches it out on him. It's a 
back at Blake. Looks like he is battling Cleaver really hard for that third spot. Blake going to slide up a front. Cody's going to send the crossover here. Cody dives it down low. Gets back into a little too much rotation. That's going to really mess up his run. Lucas is going to get a shot at him here. Let's see if Lucas takes it anywhere. As Blake takes off in third spot. He's got two more cars to catch. Closing in on halfway here in the feature number two. Looks like Lafayette has retired the double zero. Down to ten cars here in feature two. Sixth, Brewer seventh, Ernest in eighth. Mullins has fallen to ninth. He's battling Scott Elston for ninth and tenth. Antros has figured out something on Hayden. He's put up a full second on him now. Giglio closes in to try and take away that spot from the Napa car. Meanwhile, behind them, Cleaver and Hoitzma. Hoitzma trying to find a way past the two. Here, Hoitzma in his interview saying passing gets really tough after a while. Bottom kind of wears out. Get kind of stuck. Blake looks to the outside of Hayden Lowell. Hayden. Holding on to the bottom. Blake's going to keep the momentum up on the high line. Get a good run on Hayden here. See if Blake can clear him down the other end of the track. And looks like he'll do so. Blake Iglio going to take over second spot. And that is why Cleaver has been holding Lucas to the bottom. <laughs> the outside is where you make the pass. Waits oh, my inching along. Making up ground little by little on that inside line. Finally has him clear. Cleaver probably get back to the inside. The hoistman's been wanting to be on that top, I do believe. We'll see if Cleaver is able to slide it up in there. Lucas was ready for the crossover. Cleaver kind of parked it. And that's going to send Lucas back down to the bottom where he did not want to be. Cleaver get a good job forcing Hoytsma to slow up a bit instead of blowing right back past him. Hoytsma with the slider gets up in front of Cleaver. They're going to be side by side across the line. Advantage Cleaver that lap. I'm watching the times. Giglio's cutting into Montrose's lead a little bit. Not a, not a lot, just a little bit. It's down under a second. Still watching this great battle for the fourth spot between Hoitzma and Cleaver. Also have Brewer and Ernest battle. That is for seven. I think this is settled for a little bit. It's Hoitzma. Just not quite able to get the drive off the corner down low. We have to send one hellacious slider <laughs> to be able to get back in front of him at this rate. 14 laps to go. Check in on Blake. Six tenths and dropping. There is leader Montrose ahead. Hi, Montrose. <laughs> I guess we need to onboard up. Looking back from Ian at Blake Giglio, trying to close down. Pick up feature number two win. Blake slowly but surely closing in on him. 12 laps to go. 
plenty of time. You see Hayden back there in third, Cleaver fourth. Wait, so in fifth. Such a cool camera shot. Montrose really got it up the throttle there. Allowed Blake to clear right up to him. Andrew Bleach. Hello, sir. How are you? You're <laughs> alive. That's a good thing, yeah. Hooray, you're not dead. Battle for the lead. Intensifying. Waitsman Cleaver still going at it, by the way. He's got seven and a half laps to try and figure out how to get by this one car. Ian, notorious for making his car wide, so it's going to be a challenge. Meanwhile, this has become a three-car scrap as Hayden's fallen back to those two. Every position in the top five is up for change here in the final six laps. Across the stripe, six to go. Hayden's up against the fence. See, we're following in his tire tracks. Hoyts was down low, hoping Hayden makes a mistake and gets two spots. See, the track really slicked off in the center, so everyone's having to move way up or all the way to the bottom. The middle is not where it's at right now. Time Hayden runs a little bit lower, goes through the slick. We'll see if Cleaver can get a run on that high line. Hayden back to the top to cover before he gets there. Cleaver pokes the nose a lane lower. Tries to keep the nose in there. They're going to come off the corner three wide. Cleaver once again sticking the nose down there. Up front. They're still bumper to bumper. Haven't gotten side by side quite yet. Hoistma keeps working that inside, trying to pick up an extra spot. Three laps to go from Bristol. This is getting intense. Giglio. Looks like he is going to power around on the outside of Montrose. Montrose fighting back on the inside for the win here. Pinches it down a little too much back into rotation. Blake Giglio going to get the run. And that should be all Blake needs. 16 car around the outside of Montrose. Takes the race lead. And go back to this chaoticness. White flag in the air. Blake leads. We'll see if Montrose goes full send here. He sent it. Did not get up to Blake. That should be all Blake needed. Go back to this. Hoitzman is in front of Hayden. Checker flag is out. They're coming off turn three. Off four to the line. Hoitzma. Going to get third spot. Hayden Lowell fourth. Cody Cleaver fifth. That was one hell of a battle between those three. Giglio your winner. Macho second. And that's how they will finish in feature number two. Hoist might give him Blake a shot. That's how the teammates do things. Let's go grab our winner, Blake. Blake, DG, you got a copy? Oh, go on. Well, they made you work for it, and you were able to get it done with two laps to go, getting around Montrose on that high line. How did you get it done? You leave the door open for you? Yeah, I think I got in around the bottom there, and then the next corner, I threw a slider, and then that set it up pretty good from there. So I took his line away, basically, and was able to uh, get in there with two to go. Tan four, well, outstanding job. Another double feature win for you. You make it look easy sometimes, but tonight you had to work for it. Yeah, tonight was harder. The track was a lot more even. A lot more on title time, so definitely hard to pick one come from the back today, but we uh we got it done. Tam four, congrats on the double feature win. You got the friends family sponsor shout outs for us. Yeah, shout out to you for broadcasting. Everyone that put this on, Artemis e Sports, TBC, everyone that's on the car, everyone that helps out, and the report of the truck series here in a little while. Tam four, good luck in Gateway. Thank you. 
gateway where the trucks are tonight. Let's go grab Ian Montrose in the one. He's in the waiting room for me. What a what a nice fella. Ian, DG, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, we brought it home P2 tonight. Looked like you were going to steal the win there, and then Blake just snookered you and got, got the high line on you. What, uh, what did you maybe need to do to hold him off? Uh, I was trying everything, trying to keep it as low as I could, but um, I made a pretty bad mistake that took me pretty high up the track, and I lost my momentum. And, you know, the moment that you give Blake a sort of small window of opportunity, then he's probably going to take it. So, no, pretty happy with that overall. Couldn't even... Uh, take part in the first heat because of uh, my sound turning off my entire computer so anyway it was nice to be on pole <laughs> as a result yeah, that's a, that's an impressive feat but yeah you got the pole and you got to lead a bunch of laps and nearly got the win for all your troubles in the first feature uh you got the uh, friends family and sponsor shout outs for us for your p2 here in feature two yeah thanks to rev sim shop for sponsoring it thank you to yourself for broadcasting it and uh the boys that run the league uh damon and scott i think yes and uh the teammate cody appreciate him tan four congrats on your strong run you go around gateway tonight yes sir all right we'll see you in gateway ian montrose brings it home p2 now we go find that 97 fellow lucas hoisma he <laughs> fully had a battle both features here tonight lucas dg you got a copy Yes, sir. Well, you made both features with a hell of a lot of racing. Uh, good job there, getting it entertaining for the uh, the whole time, whole seventy laps. Uh, would you maybe need to uh, try to get Montrose and Blake there? Uh, well, I needed to. My first half of the race, I needed to figure the line out quicker. I started figuring it out toward the end. I was really good in the bottom of one and two, and then sliding up in three and four was a lot better. I figured that out with like five to go. If I had figured that out earlier, I would have had a lot better chance. But Blake was, I mean, Blake's Blake on dirt. He's a pro driver, you know, for, former, former, former pro driver. Yes, former. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, he kind of just bullied his way up there, and I, I didn't really want to do that either. So, you know, that was, I think that was a big difference. <laughs> and four. We got the friends, family, and sponsor shout outs for us tonight, sir. Uh, just uh, you for doing the broadcast and Scott and Damon and everything they do for this series. Tan four, we gonna see you at Gateway. Uh, probably not. I'm saving my final start for uh, Martinsville, I think. Oh my! Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> 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 All right, sir. So have a good rest of your night, and uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. All right, thanks, sir. See you. Lucas Hoysfoot in the 97, bringing it home in the third. Let's go ahead and look at our final results from feature number two, and then we can get the bills paid and get on out of here. Feature two results. Your winner, Blake Giglio, Ian Montrose, Lucas Hoisman, your top three, Hayden Lowell, Cody Cleaver, Cody Ernest, Joey Brewer, Damon Nagel, Scott Elson, and Cliff Mullins round out those ten cars. And the final two, Nathan Lafayette actually did start feature two, and then Will Mashabrander, they, their car wasn't able to get out there. So 11 cars finishing up feature number two. I have to say thanks so much to all of our broadcast partners and all of our sponsors. Let's go ahead and roll through them. Wild Horse Broadcasting does our ARCA series on a Monday night. Rev Sim Shop does this race. You just want to hear the Dirt Street Stock Tour. Then later on tonight, we have the Labor 12 Truck Series. They'll be at Gateway tonight. ARC Music, they do our Wednesday night Gen 4 Cup Series. Always a good time. And then we have Fort Worth Screen Printing, longtime partners of ours. They do our Thursday night Xfinity Series. Golden Eagle Syrup, awesome sponsor of ours. They do... Our Friday Super Speedway Series and CTC Race Network rounds us out with the broadcasts on our IndyCar Series on Friday. So hopefully you guys can come on back for all of that. We love broadcasting this stuff for you. Thank you so very much for being here, and we will see you in the next race.